Perfect. My name is Rafi Mediavilla from Criticologos.com. Alicia, thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk about your show and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for chatting with me. So let me tell you something. I, I and I know you have heard this before, but I, I, I wasn't expecting to laugh and to cry as much as I did through the whole show. And I think my first question has to be, and, and I don't even know how many times have you done this show, but how were you able to maintain not not not, not you know, no, no going, no going, no putting your house out, your eyes out, doing through, 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 through the whole show. Sorry, can I, can you hit me with that one more time? Uh, how, how were you able to maintain, you know, so calm when, without no going, no, no, don't, don't go in, you know, crying all the, all through the whole show because oh. it's so personal. Oh, it's totally. So, and, but at the same time, it's, 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 it's a well-balanced show. How, how did you maintain yourself so calm? Oh, well, yes, thank you. Um, I, I've done it a lot. I will say when I first started doing it at first, I was able to do it. Maybe I was still in shock. So I wasn't really processing it. And then at the end of that, like two year first run of it, I was weeping, weeping, weeping during the show to the point where I was like, I can't keep doing this right now. Cause I'm too emotional. So clearly I have to take a step away and I have to process some things. So when I came back to it, the experience of the loss was so much further away that maybe I had the distance where I still would get choked up a lot. And even in this second show, I got a bit choked up. Um, but I think because I had the distance at that point, I was able to look at it as like me telling the story of when I was 25 versus when I first did it, I, it had just happened. And that was a, it was harder to maintain my composure back then. Yeah. Right. When you're writing the show, how do you balance yourself? How do you, when do you, when do you know that, hey, we're, we're taking it too serious. You have to dial it down and, and, and let's laugh a little. What, what, what goes up in your brain? That, that What tells you, hey, let's switch it up. Yes, I feel very like, it's very musical to me. I feel it's very musical. It's kind of like you can feel it. And I'm an, I, I, I used to edit my videos too. And it's the same thing, editing, musicality. It's all to me very pacing. It's, so it's like, I feel it in my body when it's like, we've been too jokey. We need to slow it down. We've slowed it down. We need to get a punch. We need to come back a little bit faster and then like punch, punch, punch slow. So it's kind of just to me, it's, it's dance and rhythm and, and music to me where I, I can just feel it when I'm like, I know that now we've been serious for too long. We need to add a joke or I don't want a joke here. Cause I think we need it to breathe and be serious. Yeah. I love that. I part. That's a great question. I love that. That part of it is exciting to me. Yeah. I want to talk about your dad and I, yes. and I, 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 I want to ask you if you were here right now, obviously alive and, and seeing you do the show, I mean, present your show in, in, in Peacock. What would you, what would you think he would tell you? I mean, I'm pretty sure he's really proud of you. And, and I, I think I related to you to the whole show, but what, what would you feel he would be telling you? Um, thank you. That's very sweet. Uh, I think, yeah, I think he would be, I think he would be excited. Um, I think he would be excited for sure. And we started out on this journey together. He introduced me to comedy and he and I did regional theater and regional comedy together. And I learned just about everything I know from comedy at a young age from him. So in many ways, I feel we're, we're up there together. I've always felt that way about the show. I describe it as hanging out with my dad. So it feels very much like a mutual accomplishment. It feels like I wouldn't be here without him. It's his story as much as it's mine. And so even though he's not here, I feel he is very much here in the show and present in it. So I like to think that um, he knows and he's, and he's, he's happy. Yeah. Yeah. I know he is. I know he is. I related to, to your story so much. And, and, and I really like the, the section where you're asking people, did we lose somebody? We all dealing with some type of grief that we have yes. to, you know, balance it out with our lives. So I wonder, and I, and I think the way that I'm, that I'm going to say it in my review, obviously, this uh, chin up buddy, everything's going to be all fun, right. it's gonna be okay, that type of story. What do you, what do you want people to take away from your show once they see it in Peacock, once they see it in the streaming service? Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a combo. One, that thing you said where I ask people to share, I, and, and the end, I, I hope that people walk away from this knowing they're not alone, that everyone is holding on to something heavy, that everyone is grieving, that, that, that we are all sharing in this very isolated experience. Um, 
and that it's okay to still be sad or have complicated feelings long after the experience because grief doesn't start or stop. It's fluid and it's something you carry with you. And But then I also started the show because I was so blown away by my dad's ability to die with grace and optimism. It's so, he went through just the ringer. He And he he went through the ringer and what he went through was really brutal and he never once complained or was negative or focused on the negativity he just po- powered ahead and it's not again i i like to reiterate it's not like it didn't suck it's not like he wasn't upset and he wished it wasn't happening all he wanted was more time with us and he didn't want he was he felt like oh this is a nightmare i remember him saying this is a nightmare i feel i can't wake up from so he was very real and how bad it was, but it was still, but we're not going to let that take away time we have together. We're not going to let that stop us from enjoying this piece of beautiful cake that has coconut and raspberry. We're going to enjoy that cake or watch the Patriots. That's still going to happen even if we're fighting. And so I hope that he's changed me in that way. And I hope that others will, will take a bit of that with them as they go too. Alicia, I want to thank you once again for the show. I know a lot of people are going to relate to your show. Everyone is going to love it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking. I, I know that people are going to absolutely go, be blown away with it. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting what I saw when, wow. when I ended up with, with doing the show. So I thank you once again for your time and congratulations on, on the amazing show. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the great interview.